What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below. As usual, go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I put it up. Thank you, everybody, for supporting. But this video, though, this video is entitled I Think Black Men Want Tangibles. Uh, shout out to Kendra D, DJ Fish Grease. She had a hangout today while, not a hangout, but she went live today. And she was talking about, you know, topics that she talks about, male-female dynamic. And I was listening while I was working, and it sparked me to think about, you know, I think the problem that brothers are having is we want something tangible. We don't want um, intangible things from black women. I don't, you know, I think being red pill or, or MGTOW has come to the awareness that, you know what, you know, coming to the awareness that men are getting a raw deal is you're trading something for nothing. And the reason I say that is because of feminism. You know, the, the, the things that, the trade-off relationship that men and women used to have, we don't have anymore. So it seems like, you know, men are expected to bring certain things to the table. And all and the bulk of those things are tangible. They're resources. They they actually they benefit um the female gender. But in in return, guys are being told that they're gonna get something that's intangible, that's not tangible, that is and it it feels like you're selling snake oil because the very things that um, the ladies want to give the guys are the very things that they were taught not to give the guys. So what's happening is, just in my opinion, you know, guys have gotten fed up with the idea that, okay, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to give you money. I'm going to buy you clothes. I'm going to give you shelter. I'm going to give you food. I'm going to give you clothing. I'm going to, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to pay to help you upkeep yourself. And in the interim, you're, and for that, you're just going to be here. It's not going to work. You know, I'm going to love you. Well, the problem with that is you were raised to not love me. So your love isn't tangible because it has a bit of, it's, 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 your love is, is mixed with disdain. Now, one of the things Kendra did bring up was, you know, marriage is a business. Relationships are a business. You get both people uh, have something that they want out of the equation. And I think fellas have a hard time grasping the concept that, yes, marriage is business. Relationships are business now. And, you know, brothers are stuck with this altruistic, like, man, but it was I thought it was about love. Well... And I get the, I think I get the problem. It's kind of like if you get into business with family or you get in business with somebody who says we're like family. And what happens is instead of handling business to keep the family uh, handling business properly, what you do is you halfway handle business, and when if when it's falling apart, you lean on the fact that you family. So you you the, the, you you want the other person to let your bad business dealings go to the side and stick with you because we're family. It's it's bigger than business, but you don't want to take the losses of the business. The other person who's the family has to take the losses. And I think that's the love dynamic that that men are like, nah, I'm not feeling that. Because, you know, the business of marriage is promoted under the guise of love. The business of relationships are promoted under the guise of, of, of an altruistic two people connected and they get along and they care about each other. And that's the problem if you, you know, guys are coming to the realization that, oh, no, 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 you care about what I could do for you, but you don't care about me. Thus, I was asking, per se, you know, 
that might be the crux of the issue because the marriage vows to men may be one sided, you know, um, for richer or poorer. No, for better or worse, for richer and poorer, through sickness and in health, till death do you part. Those are the things that the guys normally naturally take serious because if things, if good times are good or times are bad, guys are really groomed to, we're going to be down with you, whatever. If you're rich or if you're poor, we're going to be down with you, whatever. Uh, if you're sick or if you're healthy, we're going to be down with you, whatever. You know, <clears throat> if you die, then that's when it's over. But what guys are, are, are hearing is, no, you're the one that has to be down for better or worse, richer or poorer, sickness and health, till death do us part. The women, uh, guys are hearing like the women are like, no, 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 I'm here for better. You know, I agree to for better or worse, but I'm only here for better. I agree to richer or poor, but I'm only here for richer. You know, um, I agree to sickness and health, but I'm only here in health, you know. And maybe to a death do its part. Depends on what the outcome is. So, brothers are like, no, I need something tangible. Because w what it is, is I'm getting nothing. And I think the women are like, well, you getting me. And it's like, nothing. Because to a degree, these men are like, I'm going to make your life better. If I enter your life. But... For me making your life better, I'm paying you to make your life better and I'm getting nothing. It's like going to a restaurant, paying for a five-star meal and getting nothing. But you came here. It's nice ambiance. Guys ain't feeling that. And I think the problem on the female end on this one is... The women aren't groomed to make the intangibles look good because of the of the way people were raised. And what I mean by that is, you're not going to cook for these guys, so guys learn to cook for themselves. You're not going to clean after no grown man, so guys learn to clean up after themselves. You're not going to, you know, go out of your way and, and, and get a guy some clothes or this, that, so guys learn to do this stuff for themselves. A lot of these guys are really self-sufficient and self uh, made and self-maintained so um, if you're under the idea that you know all if I hook up with you all I got to do is not mess it up that's not you know and, and if you put the biblical reference in this you're supposed to be a helpmate that's it's not a helpmate when you come along and you just not gonna mess it up that's not helping that's just leeching right I'm going to make sure I don't mess it up. But at the same time, fellas, you say you want girls to get with your program and not mess it up. So that's the that's the duality of that, you know. But I will say this. The problem, partially the problem with that is, is all of this rhetoric that black men have been hearing for years about how our women are smarter than us, they're better than us, they're, they're more educated, they make more money. They, you know, they got it together. We're not on their level. And then to turn right around and say, well, if you're killing it so much and you can't offer anything tangible, but I'm beneath you and I have to offer a bunch of tangibles for you to be here. I mean, this doesn't seem right. This is not this is not a good this is not a good deal. And like I said, the ladies can't sell a deal. You know, and that's the problem with, I think, marriage, modern day relationships, relationships in general, because it's nice. People can make it look nice online, but people can't make it work together person to person because ultimately one of the problems is, guys, you, we're not saying what we expect in a tangible sense out of the deal. I mean, and I, maybe that's our own fear to say, look, I expect this, 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 and this. You know, <laughs> you know, you might feel, well, maybe I'm a pimp. Well, maybe, you, no, you're not a pimp. You just, if if relationships are a business and, and it's a give and take, it's a give and take on both sides. So if you're giving something that costs, 
or that cost you to sacrifice, you want the same person to give something that cost or that caused them to sacrifice. And I think the um, the prostitute and trick relationship is part of the red pill issue because if I'm paying you for sex, you need to go. When the sex is over, you need to go. You don't get to stay. I'm not gonna pay you. For, I'm not gonna pay you a housing fee to have sex. When you, that's it. If that's it, you know, you, like they said in the Four Brothers, you don't pay a prostitute for sex. You pay her to leave. So this is one of the problems. You know, if when the ladies ask, okay, besides sex, what are you tangibly bringing to the relationship? Ladies weren't taught anything to bring anything tangible. They just clam up. And then, well, black men in particular, I think the, the hypocrisy is they see guys who they feel like aren't about anything and girls bring tangibles to the guys who are, aren't about anything. But then the guys who are about something, they get absolutely nothing. That's a, Or they get little to nothing. And that's a backwards mindset that just rubs guys the wrong way. Or if, if you're considered attractive, you get tangibles. If, you know, and this is why part of the, part of the underlying tone of when quote unquote ballers are quote um, womanizers because they already know, you know, I can have a gang of women because they're all chasing my tangibles, and then they can't. They just gonna be stuck competing with each other because they get nothing. You know, and but I will say before I end this one that if you ask normal, most of us black men on a regular, I don't think we even know tangibly what we would expect out of women. I don't think we were even raised or taught to expect or ask for anything tangible. I don't think we think women are, are, will have it in them to give anything tangible, can provide anything tangible, or or um. Are, are, are giving individuals in general to not provide something without um, animosity or animus to the person that they're giving it to if they're not their child because we've watched people be upset at their, uh, at their children because they have to sacrifice and give to them. So this is going to be an interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. I'm out. Peace.